them in one day to release me. It's highly impossible for them to do that without political power, with other high office involved in this issue. Well, yes, Mr. Pester, I see you raising your hand. Your Honor, I, I would like to raise, um, I feel that it's, it's, it, it, is in my, it, it is in my right, Your Honor, to so request the court to address the court um, humbly so, Your Honor. I, I do have a bit of a challenge on uh, the, the facts that you have brought to me related to my, to my defense, um, because I do feel that it, 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 it ought to be the same challenge again. And I think I understand what the court is saying in a sense of me approaching a formal application before the court. If need be. Yes. yes, yes. yes. But uh, I do request the court to humbly give me an opportunity to give these, because that's not the only challenge. I'd like to give the court the actual challenge so that the court can understand where I'm coming from in raising this point. Please. May I proceed? You may proceed. Your Honor, um, I'm having a challenge in basically being able to consult, but not only consult, but access legal documentation from my incarceration currently. Just, a, just a minute. Yes. When you say legal documentation, what does that mean? That means that the Criminal, uh, Correctional Service Act, Triple One of 1998, which I am charged under, I have requested it from the National Commissioner, the Area Commissioner, and it's been refused that I'm being told that I cannot access that document. And that document is actually the document that I'm charged with. Um, I don't know why I'm not allowed to access the document. I've not been given any explanation on that. It took me four months to be able to access the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. So what I'm trying to explain to the court is that there are fundamental issues that are pertaining to me as, 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 as an accused, that I believe that any legal representation that's going to represent me is going to deal with the same issues, and it's going to end up in a point where I'm going to withdraw. This is my third withdrawal of an attorney, and I feel that all of them have had the same challenges. The challenges are that I'm not able to have either access to the documents they want to give me, and the documents are sitting with, because um, at the current situation is that the National Commission has placed me under him directly. Meaning that there's nothing that can be processed or given to me without his access or without his direct approval. And in that, it means that whatever document my legal team may present, be it a motion or be it whatever application or any legal documentation, it has to be given to him. And I feel that that is unfair, Your Honor. And also, legal representations are withdrawing from the case based on the fact on how they are treated when they are actually consulting or how they are treated when they are coming to consult with me. And I feel that, Your Honor, if you are saying to me that I need to appoint another attorney and he should or they should come here and present a case of my treatment when I am the one who's been treated in that manner, I feel it, it wouldn't be correct, Your Honor, because I am the one that's treated in that manner. I'm the one experiencing that. And to, 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 to allow me to just point, because I, I'd like to proceed if I may. The National Commissioner, Your Honor, is, it has been in charge or has taken the, the obligation of being in charge of me as an inmate. And in that, meaning that all my responsibilities or any activities that involves Tabo Besta has a Tabo Besta Act, according to Correctional Services, the way I feel I'm treated. It might not be correct, but that's how I am treated. I'm segregated from everyone for the past 15 months. I have not had access or contact with any human except the EST that sits outside my door. And that's the only people I see. And I feel for my mental health and other issues, it is unfair and is not presenting me in the best ability to be in this court. I also believe that the so-called political swing behind this weight that's tried to deprive me of any right to be able to have a fair, a fair defense in this matter is, 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 is crucial. Your Honor, I, I, I shy away not from the fact that in the docket there's a statement that has been produced by the investigating officer who actually apparently has committed suicide, that says that I have said that the former president is the one who orchestrated this escape. And if you read the, the, the indictment, it has the former pre presidential uh, protection unit as, 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 as a witness, and also the, the matter of case that I've, involved, uh, that I've opened, the investigating officer in that matter, is also a witness in this case. So meaning that, Your Honor, I am sitting in a situation where I, as, 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 as a person, feel that I, I have no system or any place where else to bring my grievances than this court and myself. Because if I have to bring it before the prison, there is no, there's no one available to assist me. The National Commissioner has on public platform said he will address and have a meeting with me. This was two months when I got back into this country. 
And till to this day, I have never seen that person. I have only heard of reports. To continue with this issue is that, Your Honor, I believe that even my, my, my presence in this court, I am not brought in this court freely where I can express myself. If you can look at me, Your Honor, in the way that I am cuffed, I am cuffed in a way, Your Honor, that is up unhuman for a person that's coming to defend and fight for his own life. Be it, be it or be it not, the, 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 the Bill of Rights states very clearly that all are to pursue, be presumed innocent and the, court has, the, the state has to prove beyond reasonable doubt that I am guilty. I believe that with the carnage of the media and everyone else that I am not treated fairly or equal in any sense. And I feel that if that is the responsibility or the manner that I will be treated in, I feel that it's unfair, Your Honor, to, to a fair trial as, as a person that has an obligation to speak for himself because there's no one else that's going to do that for me. And I feel that I, 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 I want to bring these issues to this court so that the court is aware that, first of all, the charge that I am facing involves the actual office that I am under. The correctional services in whatever story the media may that are, that's out here, or even in indictment, is incomplete, Your Honor, without me. And I feel that I am treated this way to be threatened from me being able to express myself or present whatever evidence I can present to show that the so-called alleged whatever charges are incorrect. But in that manner, if this court <coughs> cannot be able to hear me out or the court cannot understand from my point of view, because First, Your Honor, I'm a layman in law, but I do understand that I do have the right to speak. So I would like to address the court on the basis of the, the charges involve so many high-profile uh, people that the Minister and the National Commission of Correctional Services have deprived me from every single privilege that exists. I am under Section 29 of the apartheid government. That is how I am treated at this current moment in this constitution and this free country. I am treated with two hours of family visits for 30 minutes. I am given one consultation or two if I am lucky. And in that process, I am kept in a hole by myself with no one on site. They have removed the EST man, uh, uh, people that were outside my door now. I feel that my life is in danger because of the fact that the people that are responsible for this charge, I am under their hands. How can I then be free, be able to defend myself, Your Honor? If the court is not able to hear, give me an ear to, in whatever issues I may be, the way that I am dressed is an issue. I have been forced to dress as such. I am not dressed. These clothes were bought for a purpose to come to court. I had to spend money to look like this. I have clothes in, 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 in my bags that have whatever branding. I am not allowed to wear clothes that cost a certain amount. I was told that I, can, I, I can't wear clothes that are Louis Vuitton or whatever because it gives the wrong impression. So I am now being forced to follow laws based on impression, Your Honor. And this is not just one thing, it's several matters and several issues that lead to one person. And this is one person out of 300,000 inmates in South Africa. I feel that it's unfair. You understand, Your Honor? And I feel that I, I'm out to speak because I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna appoint another legal team and they're gonna withdraw again. And I'm going to come back and say, Your Honor, but I have the same problem. I don't have a copy of the docket. I don't know what, what, what the docket is. And I feel that the, 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 the MPA ought to give me the docket directly. Because if this is the manner that I'm going to have, I might have to defend myself as a lame person in court and hope and pray that whatever facts I'll present. Because I have requested to the, to the head of, of prison that if I can please have access to a consultation of experts, which means I would like to have a, a copy of the docket. I don't know what, what, what the docket is. And I feel that the, 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 the MPA ought to give me the docket directly. Because if this is the manner that I'm going to have, I might have to defend myself as a lame person in court and hope and pray that whatever facts I'll present. Because I have requested to the, to the head of, of prison that if I can please have access to a consultation of experts, which means I would like to have an, a PI or a forensic experts to verify if those facts in docket are actually true. I am really done with my sentence, Your Honor. I want to finish with this matter. I am self-convicted. I pleaded guilty to the most crucial, most crucial or most dangerous um, unit, which is called the Katomena Killer Squad, forced me to plead guilty. And that 
case has been pending for 13 years in these courts. Transcripts have been missing for 13 years. And it goes around in South Africa as there is a proven fact, beyond reasonable doubt, that Tabo Besta is a murderer and a rapist. I've been out for a year. There's no one charge. Leonard Chaube, which I can refer to, I am not the worst inmate in this country. I don't have the highest counts. I have three counts. But I am the most popular inmate in this country for no reason, because of the political carnage and because of the political issues that I have in my personal capacity that have nothing to do with this legal proceedings. And I feel that I am out to address that. And Your Honor, with my last point, that I feel it's unfair for these people that are sitting here as my so-called accused to be in court when I know very well they have nothing to do with this. When I know very well that they were not present in any of these issues that are in this in indictment. The people that are being protected by the investigating team are very clearly known. I have more than enough evidence to prove that this thing is much more than just an average people that are working at, 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 at an institution called G4S that just decided on one day to release me. It's highly impossible for them to do that without political power or other high office involved in this issue. I came here with 80 cars. I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I've been having chains on my feet. My feet are ice at this point. I can barely feel my toes. This is not the way I want to proceed, Your Honor. If it means that this court can accept the petition and the public can sign it, and I can be put to rest, and we can put all this, because I am at peace. I know what I've done. I know what I've not done. I am not perfect. But one thing I know for a fact, that none of these things would exist if there was no backhand of political watchdogs that control the situation. It is unfair to be treated and to, to struggle to appoint an attorney. You find the best attorney in, 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 in whatever, or the best advocate, but they will refuse brief. It's not a, ma a matter of funds, it's a matter of association. So what I suggest is get a legal, a legal representative and let your legal team do the necessary. I think it would be better. Sure, yes, yeah, and manan. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel now. The top of this to trial. Hi guys, welcome to my channel as ah, Keeper a Court. So the Tabo Besto trial is back and a lot of people are impressed. Even I am impressed, Sana. He came out guns blazing in his quest. Um I just want to highlight how smart this guy is, okay? This makes so much sense how he was able to get away with everything he's done. Yay, this guy is so smart. He's even trying to outsmart the court. Lol. Right? The judge is even listening attentively and is so stunned at the fact Besta is spitting. On the other hand, Sana Nandipa is literally forcing her tears, guys. Her tears... <laughs> I'm literally not going to do her any justice. She's forcing her tears. Can you imagine? But you know what, guys? Him sounding so good doesn't take away the fact that the lives were taken because of him. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video because I really did. I really did. Um, If you want to see the whole video, I think there's one uh, on YouTube. Um, Thank you guys for joining me today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment. I want to see your comments, guys, about what you guys think about everything that happened uh, at court. I saw now. You know what killed me? Uh, he literally said he wants to stop being forced to wear cheap clothes. You know, if you go to Louis Vuitton, their guts, their guts, I'm telling you guys. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Peace.